They're ready for basketball tonight here in Evansville. The Purple Aces are in the postseason for the fifth time in the last seven seasons, and they will host the UT Martin Skyhawks, a team that is looking to tie the school record with 22 wins if they can get this one here tonight. Hi, everybody. Good to have you with us. Welcome to the Ford Center. Mike Corey and Rich Savosik. Evansville, second time in the semifinals of the CIT in the last three years. For UT Martin, what a turnaround. 13 more wins than last year, fourth best in the country. He Schroyer has made Tennessee Martin an explosive drive and kick type team. They spread you, shoot the three, and then our scrappy is all get out. On the flip side, Evansville, Marty Simmons, the best motion coach in the country, bar none, and it will be on display here tonight. Contrasting styles, we'll see who wins. All right, let's take a look at how these two teams got to this point here. They each won three games to earn the right to get to the semifinals. It took a three-pointer with 3.3 seconds left for UT Martin at Eastern Kentucky by Marshawn Newell to win that ball game. And DJ Ballantyne for Evansville poured in 35 in the last game, tied a season high because he had 35 in game one of the CIT as well. Two players that we'll focus in on here tonight. Two of the better guards in the country. Marshawn Newell at Tennessee Martin is the heart and soul of this team. He's the leader and he does a little bit of everything. Double figure score in the Eastern Kentucky game, 16 points, eight rebounds, two assists. And then on the flip side, you have DJ Ballantyne, the leading scorer in the Missouri Valley Conference, averaging over 20 points a game. But his game has gone up in postseason play. Two 35 point outputs, including 11 for 18 against ULL and four threes. Evansville would like to keep the run going. If they win here tonight, they will host the championship game. Evansville and UT Martin, we will be back with the starting lineups at the opening tip. Semifinals of the CIT here on CBS Sports Network. We need a different conversation. We need a new spin on sports. We need competitors. And those who cover the competition. We need a new perspective. We need a new voice. We need to make history. We need to talk. We need to talk. From the Final Four in Indy, Sunday at 8 on CBS Sports Network. What makes it an SUV is what you can get into it. What makes it an NX is what you can get out of it. Introducing the first ever Lexus NX Turbo and Hybrid. Once you go beyond utility, there's no going back. Thank you for being a sailor and my daddy. Thank you, Mom, for protecting my future. Thank you for being my hero and my dad. Military families are thankful for many things. The legacy of USAA auto insurance could be one of them. Our world-class service earned USAA the top spot in a study of the most recommended large companies in America. If your current or former military or their family, see if you're eligible to get an auto insurance quote. All around the world, there's children who are practicing. Last second jumpers in driveways, friends say that's a keen. Richmond, the vision and dreams with them. Hooping on team scene, they're on the screen. Deep in the mark, selected to start, and just then they like up on deep. Sticking together, believe, taking the charge, coming from Bean, town media, doubt us, we, CBS Sports, before Davey and Lillard was born, the bounty played on this court, and now, I think it's one time that we're bringing that course, so it's the C-I-T on CBS, yes. Experience the preparation before golf's finest tradition, Masters on the Range, starts Monday and continues all week on CBS Sports Network. The CollegeInsider.com postseason tournament on CBS Sports Network is being brought to you by Marriott, the official hotel for the 2015 CollegeInsider.com postseason tournament. And by 312 Media, producing Emmy award-winning features for CollegeInsider.com. Back inside the Ford Center here tonight in Emmonsville as we go to the starting lineups for UT Martin and Emmonsville, the semifinals of the CIT. Championship game would be played here at Evansville if they win this game here tonight. For UT Martin, 
DeVille Smith, one of five, averaging double figures and scoring, leads the way with 13.7 points a game for them. Number three, Alex Anderson, third in the nation in three-point shooting at 48%. And number 55 for Evansville, Egidius Muscovicius. We'll get that game name out early tonight. A nice compliment to Ballantyne. Keith Schroyer for UT Martin. What a job he has done. They won eight games last year. He took over the program, plus 13 this year. And Marty Simmons for Evansville, another postseason appearance for them. They went to the semifinals two years ago, Rich, of the CIT in 2013 and lost this year trying to make it to the championship game. Now this, this will bode well for both teams, not only this year, but next year. Evansville wins the tip. Our officials tonight, Lamont Simpson, Steve McJunkins, and Kelly Pfeiffer. Step back by Ballantyne, and we might see a lot of that here tonight. You're going to have to run two people at Ballantyne to get the ball out of his hands because he has been on fire in this tournament. 92 points in the last three games for DJ Ballantyne, the junior, for Evansville. There's a three on the way, and that one's good by DeVille Smith. Such a balanced team, this UT Martin squad, Rich. They have five players in double figures and scoring a lot of guys to cover. Well, they're not going to go to the bench for many players. They may go two or three deep. All five guys will play 30-plus minutes, but they all can shoot the basketball. And there's Moscovichus, the junior from Lithuania. For Evansville, can't convert. UT Martin back the other way. Nice drive, another kick, and this one's lost by Smith out of bounds. Good idea on the first couple of possessions for Tennessee Martin. They go inside out and get a three, then they drive and kick, unfortunately, unable to corral the pass. And then on the defensive end, they're going to try and slow Evansville down with a little 2 2 1 full court pressure so they don't have to play against the motion offense for the full 30 seconds. Valentine again coming off a pair of screens, misfires. Here is Alex Anderson for the Skyhawks. Now Newell, the floating right-hander, and rebounded by Dwayne Gibson. Wayne, nice feed underneath, but Simmons misses the layup. Communication on back screen is going to be vital for Tennessee Martin. They dodge a bullet with Simmons missing the easy one. Two teams averaging about 70 points a ball game this season for Evansville. That was first in the Missouri Valley Conference. They finished fifth in league play at 9-9, nine and 22-12 nine, and 12 over, overall. Here's UT Martin's row. Nice move by Chandler Rowe, sophomore out of Atlanta, Georgia. And now Moscovichus gets the easy one inside for Evansville. Skyhawks lead it by one. Tennessee Martin's going to have to make a decision. Are you going to play Egidius one-on-one, -on -one or are you going to double-team him? If you play him one-on-one, -on -one, he's just too big and strong. Anderson. Bump, no call. Miscavigis with a rebound. Quickly up to Gibson. Tried to thread it to Simmons. He got knocked out. Well, both teams, Mike, will try and push the basketball. They're not teams that will score in the 80s or 90s, but they are opportunistic on the break. And you saw when Gibson saw an opening, he went for it. Real tough cover for UT Martin defensively tonight that you talked about with Simmons and then the inside play. That's Adam Wing with a jumper, but you have you know, Valentine outside shooting, the scavengers, the big 6'10 junior inside. There's a lot of players you have to be wary of with this team. You're going to have to pick your poison as to who you're going to try and stop. You want to try and limit Valentine's touches, and you want to make Egidius a passer out of the post. So Tennessee Martin's going to have to make some decisions defensively, but offensively, they are quicker. And they are always quicker to the basketball. A good rebounding team considering their size. 
What a jumper by Alex Anderson. That's a three, and the junior knocks it down. He's third in the country, shooting 47.9% from three-point range. That's his 91st three of the season. Nice feed by Moscovicius, but it's two missed layups now by Evansville. That one by Gibson. Smith brings it back out. And he got taken away. Valentine. And is fouled by Smith coming back. The foul on the Skyhawks, number 24. DeVille Smith, that's his first personal. The Valentine, who is more an offensive player, but saw the opening, went for the steal, draws the foul, and chance to go for the free throw line. And Young man who shoots 75%. Leading scorer in the Missouri Valley Conference, first team all conference the last two years. Was eighth in the country in scoring last year, Rich, at 22.8. And 16th this season, averaging 20 points. So obviously a prolific scorer, and he has another year to go, just a junior. And, and he's on track to become the all time leading scorer here, breaking Colt Ryan's record if he has it a senior year like his junior year, but the perfect prototype for this offense. Colt Ryan had a postseason record 39 points in their last game, his last game at Canisius in this tournament Anderson. two years ago. And that's a nice play again. Anderson on the drive to the basket. And the Skyhawks with a two-point lead. Mike was playing with the 30-second shot clock. And there would be some observers who might think that Evansville would be bothered by the shorter shot clock, but they have adjusted. They're used to shooting in the last five seconds. Not so far here tonight. Experimental in postseason in the CIT, CBI, and the NIT. Skyhawks lead it by two early. Alex Anderson is drained to three. And Ballantyne doing what he does best back after this. We're there for the first. We'll be there for the 50th. We're testing Hanes underwear with XTemp technology. Yep. Just gonna play it. Wedge? Yep. It speeds evaporation to help keep you cool and dry. Hanes XTemp technology. When you're cool, you're comfortable. Ever been stuck with a splitting headache and your little angel starts giving you help? Ah! Urgent RX headache relief works whenever, wherever. Just pour the flavored fast dissolving powder into your mouth. Urgen RX fast powders. Right now, relief. Saturday. Boxing returns to CBS. Knockout sensation Adonis Stevenson. Stevenson going in for the proverbial kill. Faces all out brawler Saki Obika. Oh, and now it's just a catapult left hook by Bika. The battles begin. This is as good as boxing gets. Premier Boxing Champions, Saturday at 3 on CBS. Do you feel sluggish or tired throughout the day? Have you ever thought the problem could be your liver? My liver? Your liver cleanses your body of things like too much food and drink. And if it's all clogged up, you feel sluggish and tired. But there is something you can do. Take Liveride Liveraid, the natural dietary supplement just for your liver. Liveride helps your liver work properly so you can feel more energized. Cleanse your liver. Feel the energy. Live right with Liveride. Thanks, Liveride. Available at CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, and Walmart. 60. Now I get it. Skyhawks by two in the early going. March isn't over yet. Stay tuned right here on CBS Sports Network. More tournament basketball coming up next. Our second semifinal from the CIT tournament as NGIT takes on Northern Arizona. Only on the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. NGIT, New Jersey Institute for Technology, beat Michigan earlier this year at 21 and 11. And Northern Arizona at 22 and 14. Coming up right after us. Jimmy Angles has done a fantastic job at NJIT, a team without a conference, and they have to play on the road often in January and February. He's a guy, keep your eye on Jimmy Angles at NJIT. Only independent team in the country. Nice block down low after the Ballantyne miss, and that was by Howard for UT Martin, and they get it. Oh, 
The Skyhawks team picked to finish last in the Ohio Valley Conference this year. They finished second at 10 and 6. A seven win improvement in conference play over last year. Howard, tough fadeaway, rebound Miscavichus. Simmons into Miscavichus. Three bunnies tonight rolling off the rim for Evansville. Well, they've gotten the ball where they want it. They just have to complete it. Intercepted by Simmons. Blake Simmons. No call. Layup good. Good no call by the official. Simmons with excellent body control to slide by the defender. 12th meeting of all time between these two here tonight. Evansville leads the series 10 to 1. The last meeting back in 2009. And Blake Simmons. It takes it in for an Evansville 12-10 advantage. Howard for three in the lead back. Doesn't get the roll. Wang, nice fake, and lost it on his way up. No space, go right into Gideus' defender. Anderson's already hit one three tonight. Deville Smith, over to Newell. Shot clock down to 10. Newell on the drive, no, traveling violation. Three substitutions coming in for Evansville here. Let's take a look at Blake Simmons being in the right spot on rotation, able to make the steal and then slide by the defender and then get him a hand in the passing lane. We talk so much about Evansville's motion offense and how good they are on the offensive end, but they are a very fundamentally sound defensive team as well as we saw in those last two plays. Two guards and a forward just checked in. Jalen Brown and Mishla Pozoya. The two guards and Jalen Moore, the forward, the lone senior on this team for Evansville. And it is Moore there finishing. The only player that will graduate at the end of this season. They have everybody else coming back next year for the Purple Aces. And that's what this postseason play is all about. It's try and win a championship, but also preparation for next year. And there's two things that bond teams. One is a foreign trip, and two is postseason success. As we see a deep three by Anderson, he's on fire. You cannot leave him that wide open. He'll hit it with a player in his face. That one is just like shooting practice for him. And he's got two three-pointers tonight for Tennessee Martin. They lead it, or they trail it by one. As we come up on the 12-minute mark to go here in this first half. Wayne. On the feed up top from Brozoya. Terrific pass by Brozoya. He's playing without the padding on his hand. He broke his hand during the, the middle of the conference season and was slowed by it. Was really coming into his own when he got hurt against Wichita State. But excellent pass. Funny inside put in by Javier Martinez for UT Martin. They're within one once again. I always find it interesting. I mean, he broke his hand, his non shooting hand, but he only missed four games. But he was playing very well and in the Wichita State game. They were actually leading when he got hurt, so it's good to see him back healthy. Aaron Pass, another turnover as a foul is called as Smith worked it in, and it'll take us to another timeout. We'll step aside. 11 24 to play first half here from Evansville. The Purple Aces lead it by one. Flip on the CIT, Hooper, we need the breeze. Shooting from three with ease, it's easy to see with fiends. Please believe that every position that counts us are obsessed from our couches. Hanging with every pass like a hoop is delivered. A gem to perfection, now bouncing. Fans in the stands with hands up, just like the trap of a press. 10,000 strong, stars have been born before insanity. Yes, CBS Sports. Before Davy and Lunder was Portland bound, he played on this court and now. I think it's our time that we're bringing that course. So it's the CIT on CBS. Nice morning, Scott. Hi. At a morning of tiny voices crying out, feed us. 
I don't understand. It's grass, man. It's a living, breathing thing. It's hungry. And you've got to feed it with Scott's Turf Builder. And a boy, Mikey. Two feedings now in the springtime. Strengthens and helps protect your lawn from future problems. Get Scott's Turf Builder lawn food. It's guaranteed. Feed your lawn. Feed it. And to keep crabgrass away all season long, get Scott's Turf Builder with Halt's Crabgrass Preventer. Carolina has a chance to win the game on the final possession. 74, 74, nine seconds to go. Miguel Paul's got the ball up top. Miguel keeps the dribble alive. Lemo says, go to the hoop. Here's Miguel with it. Gives it to Richmond. Three is up. And good! At the buzzer! At the buzzer! Hakeem Richmond hits the shot. Unbelievable! What a shot! Our Mike. first of two semifinals here tonight in the CollegeInsider.com tournament. Mike, I'm going to take you into the Marty Simmons coaching clinic right here on motion offenses. We're going to see DJ Ballantyne curl the screen. When his screener's man helps, it opens up the screener, which is Jalen Moore. He gets the easy one. So off you talk about it. How do you get open? Go set a screen for a teammate. Angela Lenzo covers mid-majors during the season for CollegeInsider.com. Here's what she had to say. A prolific scorer, great shooter with deep range, can get a shot off in the phone booth. He's an underrated passer, and he wears out a pass to the free throw line. He's an All-American from Angela Lenzo. You can follow her on Twitter at, at CollegeInsider. That's the thing. He averages 20 points a game, and he's also the team leader in assists with 3.2 a ball game as well. Very good distributor, Valentine. I'm going to add three things to that scouting report. One, great kid. Two, terrific student. And three, very high basketball IQ. Just a, a fun guy to coach if you're Marty Simmons. UT Martin with the possession, and then they turn it over. It accepted by Brozoya. Jalen Moore. Always looking down low, the Purple Aces. Good move inside by Brozoya. Got it back and feeds it to Jalen Moore, who got fouled. And two at the line coming up for him. One of the 16 finalists who are up for the voting to be the Dark Horse candidate in the college slam dunk contest. He wanted to go up with it right there. Well, he certainly did. And Brozoya tried to set him up there. And when help side came, spotted the open man. Javier Martinez picks up his first foul, the second on UT Martin here tonight. Mike, you mentioned it earlier for this Evansville team, Jalen Moore, the only senior that will not be back next year. So some good pieces to the puzzle for Marty Simmons. as well as for Heath Troyer, the head coach for UT Martin, coming over for his first season. And he's done a spectacular job. Look at this three backed <laughs> in by DeVille Smith. There's a, been a lot of transfers in college basketball. I don't know of many who have made as big an impact as DeVille Smith, who transferred over from UNLV, came along with Heath Troyer when he took the job. And, has really had a great senior year. Back inside, Jalen Moore, and when you look at his numbers coming into tonight, albeit he's taken 71 shots from the field, but he's shooting 75% this season. He knows his range. He's not going to take a three. Matter of fact, he's not going to take a 15-footer. Right. But he's going to make everything inside the dotted circle. So, as Clint Eastwood used to say, man has got to know his limitations. Anderson, step back, fade away, doesn't go, and Moore has the rebound. Good minutes for Moore here. He had 12 points in the last game, 10 in the first half. And that win for Evansville over Louisiana on Thursday. Partially blocked with Simmons driving in. Quick three here by Smith. Yes, DeVille Smith. And UT Martin back on top here. That's what they have done in postseason play. They have made timely three-point shots, and if you are not ready and talking in transition, they burn you. Rosoya tried to feed it 
to a cutting Valentine turnover and some substitutions are in. Marshawn Newell back in for UT Martin and there is Dwayne Gibson, number four for Evansville, back to the lineup for Jalen Brown. Mike, I got a, an opportunity to talk to Heath Schroyer a little bit earlier today and I had them way back in November against Nebraska. And we talked about what game made a difference and he referenced their Arkansas State win on the road. Now, this is a team that has won 12 games on the road this year, the most in college basketball. They came back from a 19 point deficit on the road to beat Arkansas State and it got the guys believing in what he was preaching. The whole thing about it was to come here and change culture, he says, as Ballantyne knocks down a three, and Evansville goes back up two. Well, and as you mentioned, changing the culture. That's what Marty Simmons has created here at Evansville, and, and Heath Schroyer is well on his way to doing that at Tennessee Martin. And it was interesting when I asked Marshawn Newell the same question about what game was kind of the turning game. He mentioned Mar Moorhead State at home during conference season. They were losing at halftime and they came in and they held each other accountable. And as he said, he Schroyer simply said, hey, do what we do. Shot clock violation, as we said earlier, we're experimenting with the 30 second shot clock in this tournament here. And it's a violation for UT Martin. Evansville ball leading here when we return right after this. Strong can heal from miles away. Unite us for a common good. And turn a simple video into endless laughter. Strong can take you all the way to the summit. So cool! Think what Strong can do for you. Can I play too? <laughs> AT&T's network now has the nation's strongest 4G LTE signal. makes it an SUV is what you can get into it. What makes it an NX is what you can get out of it. Introducing the first ever Lexus NX Turbo and Hybrid. Once you go beyond utility, there's no going back. North of the south, east of the west, from Idaho to the bayou, and why do we lay? We're making a way, you're making our way to the fine. Back to Evansville, Indiana with a 23-21 lead for the Purple Aces. UT Martin been prolific from the outside this season, shooting the three, Rich. Well, they spread you out, they drive it, and they knock it down. And when you have more than one guy who can knock down the three, you are very dangerous. And we've already seen that here tonight. Four of eight from the three-point line. I go back to their first round win against Northwestern State. 16 of 28 from the three-point line. First in the Ohio Valley Conference, Angela Lento and what she has to say on DeVille Smith. As, as we talked about, he's the guy who made a huge impact when he decided to transfer from UNLV, and he has, again, in postseason play, he has picked up his game. Averaging tw over 12 points, nine rebounds, six assists, he's doing it all. Evansville has made six of their last seven field goals here as they lead it by two. Jalen Moore really having his way inside here tonight. He's got eight points for the team lead. Well, Moore, who normally just comes in to spell Gideus when he's tired or in foul trouble, has been given great minutes. But how about the Smith three with a hand in his face by DeVille Smith? Another three. And UT Martin from the outside shooting 39% on the season, 22nd in the country, and a misfire on a three for Evansville. Now the Skyhawks with a chance to regain the lead. 